I want to teach you how to get glowing skin in three steps. Let's get into it. Okay. You're gonna to wanna to start with exfoliating your body. You wanna remove all the dead skin cells, all the dry skin. It's also gonna help even out your skin tone and it's just gonna allow all of the products that you do use to absorb so much better into the skin. Now there are different ways to exfoliate and the two different types of exfoliation is either physical or chemical exfoliation. There are different ways that you can do this. You can use a dry brush, you can use exfoliating gloves, an exfoliating mitt, you can use a body scrubs, these can come in different textures using like salt or sugar and you can also get ones with special exfoliating beads so when i'm physically exfoliating i tend to mix up sometimes i either go in with a dry brush where are you hello oh there you are before i get into the shower i would start at the bottom of my body and i would brush upwards in one direction i'll keep going all the way up to the top of my body when i get to my arms like this I will just brush towards my heart. Your skin might become like a little bit red because obviously you're putting something that's physically exfoliating on your skin. As long as you're not doing it too hard, it's completely fine. And you wanna spend like a couple of minutes doing that. And what you'll notice is like, you'll see your skin becomes like a little bit white. That's literally the dry skin coming off. It is a bit disgusting, but you're gonna be getting into the shower anyway. And when you get into the shower, that's when you wanna wash your body with a soap or body wash to help get rid of what's left if you don't like using this method then perhaps physical exfoliating gloves are something that you would prefer better you can use these with your soaps your body washes just so that it doesn't feel too harsh on the skin you just want to be working in circular motions just to help remove the dead skin cells remove the dry skin again it's just going to help to reveal softer smoother skin underneath and it's also going to help even out your skin tone and both of these methods are going to help with unclogging your pores which is another great benefit of exfoliating and if you didn't want to use a dry brush or exfoliating gloves you could use a body scrub something that has sugar or exfoliating beads as i mentioned earlier this is more of an affordable option this is from dove it literally is a creamy texture with some exfoliating beads if you wanted something a bit more luxurious then i would definitely recommend this this is from the way this is made with sugar which is amazing for exfoliating your body if you find sugar scrubs are not really cutting it then the next step up would be using something like a salt scrub but a lot of people do find that too harsh on the skin and it's important to remember that when you are exfoliating you do not want to overdo it because even though you do get slight redness if you do too much your skin will just become so irritated and sensitive and we don't want that now if physically exfoliating isn't your thing or you find it too rough for your skin then perhaps chemically exfoliating would be beneficial to you i also like chemically exfoliating i do this once a week for me i like to physically and chemically exfoliate so maybe on a sunday i will either physically exfoliate or chemically exfoliate and then on a wednesday i'll do the opposite my favorite chemical exfoliator which actually doubles as a physical exfoliator so it's pretty much a two-in-one is the necessaire body exfoliator i absolutely love this this just goes on as a gel it has like little micro beads in there as well and as you massage it into your body it turns into this creamy foamy consistency which is just amazing this has aha bha phas i think it has niacinamide in it as well so all these actives are actually going to exfoliate for you all you have to do is just massage in circular motions like you would do with a normal body scrub you basically let this do the hard work for you i love using this before i shave as well because your skin just feels so much more smoother and the same with physical exfoliators this does work to release ingrown hairs if you struggle with that as well as well as unclog pores so it's really an amazing product and there's different chemical body exfoliators out there and it's also important to remember as well if you are using chemical exfoliators then you need to make sure that you wear SPF. The second step in your routine is actually going in with a body oil. Now, there are different types of body oils out there. People always wonder whether they should be using a body oil or a lotion first. It doesn't really matter if you're using a moisturizing body oil because that can go before or after your lotion. But if you're using a body oil that has some sort of treatment in it that, you know, targets uneven skin, dark marks and, you know, things like that, then you're going to want to put that on before your lotion. Like water is the key element 
into having hydrated skin, right? So I use a body oil on top of my damp skin to lock that moisture in. And then I like to go in with a lotion. Now my favorite body oil I absolutely love, 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 and I'm always repurchasing is this one from Palmer's. It's the Moisturizers and Softens Body Oil. It also contains vitamin E, which is amazing for skin. I think the reason I love this so much is because it, your skin just absorbs it. I have it on right now. There's no like greasy residue you at all yes you feel like there is product on your skin but it's nothing that's really transferable you can still go on about your day and nothing's going to stick to you my skin loves this i love this i always get asked what i use and this is it this is it it's just going to lock in all that moisture and keep your skin hydrated for longer and it's just going to give it a gorgeous gorgeous glow because you've exfoliated you revealed softer skin underneath your skin is just going to absorb it so much better so you've exfoliated your body, you've locked in that moisture using a body oil and you could stop there, but why stop there when you could apply lotion? Now there are tons of body lotions out there that you can use. Finding something that works for you is key. I have been using the one from Naturium lately. I absolutely love this. This is a restoring body lotion, which I think is amazing because when you're exfoliating your skin, you need to be able to put back in what you've lost. And this I find is perfect for it. And there's also no scent as well, which is also perfect if you're gonna be applying perfumes. So nothing is gonna clash. And if I wanna be a bit more glowing, I'll probably use something a bit more richer like this. This is the Laura Mercier body creme and I absolutely love this. This and this. So yeah, you've exfoliated, you've applied your body oil and you've applied your lotion and your skin is just going to be glowing. But there are some other things that you can do that are going to help maintain your clear, smooth and glowing skin, okay? We're not just in it for the short term, we're in it for the long haul. Now, first tip, which is absolutely essential, it it probably should be part of your foundation and that is wearing clean clothes, sleeping in clean bed sheets and using clean towels for your body and your face. Because what you don't want to be doing is applying anything dirty onto your skin and that's how a lot of times you start to develop spots and like body acne. So always ensure that you are using clean items on your skin. And that leads me on to the next thing which is making sure that you are doing your shower routine in the correct order. So if it's hair wash day, you need to make sure that you are cleansing your body after you've washed your hair because the products from your shampoo and conditioner can often get stuck in your pores on your shoulders and your back and the rest of your body if you don't do this already then i would highly recommend giving this a try now you could apply some shimmer to your body that could come as a shimmer oil or like maybe body makeup you could just apply it to your shoulders your neckline if you just concentrate and highlight the points on your body that you know shine more when light touches it then that is another way you could elevate your glowing skin routine another tip you could use which is going to save you time if that is something that you are concerned about is using an in shower moisturizer that's just going to be something that you apply in the shower once you finish with your whole shower routine and usually you would rinse off once you've applied the product all over your body i used to use one from nivea it was just called their nivea in shower moisturizer i absolutely you love this i didn't get it at first but once i understood the product i would literally just apply it all over my body and once i've massaged it in i would just rinse it off and then as i step out of the shower my body is already moisturized and i could stop there but usually you know we want to be a little bit extra then i would go in with my body oil and then a moisturizer but you could literally just stop there and it's great for saving time highly recommend giving that a try if that sounds like something you'd be interested in so another tip is if you wanted a little bit more of a sun kiss glow then you could use a gradual tanner so this is an alternative to using fake tan this is more if you want the natural glowing sun-kissed look there are so many gradual tanners out there and i'll pop the ones on screens that i've used in the past that i actually really like and another tip you could use in your routine which is similar to using a in shower moisturizer or body oil maybe using a body wash that has some sort of moisturizing element to it and as you probably already know i'm absolutely 
in love with using Natorium products, specifically the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. Now this has so many good ingredients that are just going to moisturize and hydrate and nourish your skin. And I love the way that this feels on my skin when I'm using it. And my skin just looks a little bit more alive and it has a lovely natural glow when I am getting out of the shower. So if you don't already use something that's gonna moisturize and nourish your body in the shower, then maybe something like this you could add into your routine to just take it up a notch. Another tip that you probably hear absolutely everywhere, but it is the truth, is making sure that you stay hydrated from within and drink plenty of water okay because you do not want to have dehydrated skin so make sure you're drinking plenty of water so we've covered a lot today but just to recap you are going to exfoliate with either a physical or chemical exfoliator maximum two times a week and apply body oil onto damp skin and you are going to apply a body lotion to replenish your skin and that's going to be your three-step routine to getting glowing skin Skin. And I've also shared tips on how you can maintain your glowing skin as well as up level your routine. If there are any tips that you could share with me and anyone else watching, then do make sure to comment these down below. And if you did enjoy this video, then let me know by giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button for more videos like this. I just want to say thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.